What's up guys? Welcome back to Static Works. Today is the second time that we've recorded this video. We went through, we made a whole nice ass edit for you guys of the new wrap that's sitting right in front of us here. You'll see it in just a second. But we we recorded a whole entire video. I went home or I went to I went to go edit and I found out that all the audio was corrupted. It sounded absolutely terrible. So this is the second time that we're making this video. Hopefully it turns out even better. I think it did. The edits look way more crisp than before, but it's okay. <laughs> God damn it, bro. As I was saying before Bruce went on this huge ass rant, we are going to be revealing the BMW wrap. Finally, after like three weeks of hard work. You think the boys are ready? I think they're ready. I think they're ready for this So now that the wrap is finally done and revealed, I can finally talk about how much of a pain in the ass it was to wrap this thing. I personally really love the wrap. I think it came out really good and at first I was a little upset seeing it slowly progress just because we were doing it ourselves so it's not like we just had a shop do it professionally so obviously there are going to be some imperfections in the wrap and obviously our skills aren't the best. It is our first time, so it was going by pretty long because we had to wait for more wrap. I'll go into more detail right now, but right now I'm gonna be giving you a basic walk around around the car and then show you guys all of our wrapping skills and our fuck ups. I'm gonna go by panel, so we're gonna start off with the front bumper. We were able to do it in one piece by glassing a lot and we did have to inlay on the inserts so that part we did have to cover so those sides on each of the holes we did have to patch up and do an inlay on there's no major imperfections on the hood so i'm really happy about that but when lifting it you can see there are a lot of wrinkles and fingering <laughs> flowers a lot of fingering which obviously I'm not happy with so I'm gonna probably cut it right here and just overlap it with an inlay but honestly for what it's worth I really like it because flowers did help me out and that was the first thing we ended up wrapping so I didn't know anything about wrapping then but now that we did the whole car I got the hang of it and I feel like if we ever redid the hood I would be able to do it without these fingerings and make it better looking at the fender Everything seems pretty good. Obviously the corners aren't going to be the best. That's the biggest trouble we've had. And on this one, we do have a little air bubble right here, which isn't too big of a deal. We only have about like three all over the car, so it's not that bad. And then we did a pretty good cut right here. I had to go back and cut it, but obviously there's some, you know, waves. I didn't get a, an exact cut, but on this fender, it looks a lot better. There's pretty much no imperfections besides the actual fender. And if you look, it looks really good on the cuts. Looking at the mirrors, obviously, this one's not wrapped. And the other one is. That's because that one was really easy to do for some reason compared to this one. This one keeps falling off and we are doing it in two pieces. We're starting off this way and wrapping it and glassing it towards the car. And then cutting it right here, you can see all the cut marks. but. Honestly, after doing all of it and continuing to fuck up, I did decide to just order my favorite mirrors. So I'm really excited about that and we are going to be doing a video. I'm not going to show you guys how they look yet. And they're coming really soon so that's going to be one of the next videos for this car. So <sighs> be excited. The doors came out really good. I'm really happy about how this indention came out just because we were able to cut it right here and release all the stress and the air from the corners but when you open it it's not the best but as you can see it's pretty good especially for being our first time like i said so 
there are some patches that we've made but overall I think it looks really good because there's no real imperfections on the actual door but obviously when bending it in and actually flattening out that portion there are going to be some imperfections but as we moved on we got a little better and I'll show you that moving back towards the car but if you look on the rear door the cuts are a lot crisper so I'm really happy how the rear door came out now looking at the rear quarter panel which is probably the hardest to do other than the rear bumper we had to do this whole portion that goes all the way obviously towards the front and if you look on the bottom there's this little strip that goes all the way down all the way towards the front fender so we had to get all that perfect and we tried doing it from front to back which we failed on and we totally fucked up on it when redoing it we went back front so we cut it right here so we could do an inlay towards the middle and then just moved it all the way back and then obviously we had a we had to cut it right here which honestly that's when we started getting a lot better and this is the one that i did shout out to static danny who's that sadly once we went to the front i started fucking up just because the blade was getting duller so i started making these little little wavy cuts and this one was just horrible but as you can see it's not too bad nothing crazy nothing noticeable and no fingering right there the trunk came out really good so what we had to do is do it in two parts we had to do it down up just because the back is the hardest part because there's so much tension right here so we did it back up folded it over my dad thank you dad shout out he was able to cut it pretty good and pretty straight so we just laid another piece on it but as you can see there are some parts that spread with heat obviously it's gonna have memory so it's gonna retract and that's what happened to it but honestly with heat it's actually going even further and closing the gap again which is pretty cool so i'm not going to worry too much about it but my biggest gripe on the whole thing is just the corners so these corners are fine but if you go down here you can see there's just a little tiny little guy right there horrible but i mean like i said i'm not worrying too much about it overall the car looks really good Bro. and for the first time. For the first time doing it, I say it looks pretty dang good. Now to the rear bumper, which we sadly failed on miserably. So we had to buy more wrap because first we fucked up the quarter panel, and then we fucked up the trunk, and then we fucked up the bumper. So we actually tried to do the rear bumper twice, and it failed, it wasn't cooperating with us, the wrap was just being really weird when it came to all the lines and the angles and stuff with the bumper. So luckily we have our friend Paul from the wrap source that came over Be down to... here, wait, he's gonna be down here. Wait, 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 down there. Anyway, so we tried it twice, didn't work out. We hit up Paul from the wrap source and he said, sure, he'll come over, he'll help us out. So he came over to Danny's house, helped us out with the bumper. Killed as, it, super easy. As our final touch. It was the last thing we had to do, the last thing. besides the mirrors, yeah. but, um, but yeah, it turned out really well. And, uh, shout out to Paul. Yeah, shout out to Paul. Hit him up for all of your wrapping needs, so he does do full um, vehicle wraps, and he's really good at it. I've seen him work, and he's a good guy. He's a good friend. To show you what we mean, there is a little indention right here, and then it goes back out and then back in, so that was the biggest pain in the ass. He didn't wrap this part, I was able to wrap that myself, but he just cut it and he was able to fully wrap it with just one piece, which I'm really happy about. But Not only does it just indent here, <laughs> but if you want to do it in one piece, it also just stops. So it, it, it's flat and then there's this little fucking line here, I don't know why. So weird. Hey, and fucking... hey, you learn to appreciate the BMW curves though, when you're wrapping them. The roof was the best work we've ever done just because it is the easiest and there's some guys who wrapped my g35 roof which took them like four hours and they did a horrible job so thumbs down you guys know who you are because we were able to wrap this shit and this was like the first time i've ever wrapped and we did it stupid good how so, many didn't you say there was like what four people or something two people that, two okay so two people but they took four hours so some advantages of wrapping your car are number one it's cheaper than paint, and number two, you can always peel it off 
and just wrap it in another color or keep your OEM color. But unfortunately, there are some disadvantages for older cars and even just cheap paints. For mine, my car was repainted since it is a salvage title and pretty much every single part of the car was being chipped and just the paint was just being ripped off and I knew that I had to take that chance when wrapping it because that happened with my G35 even though it wasn't even crashed or anything it was when I pulled off the roof wrap it was peeling off the actual paint obviously I took a gamble and I lost the paint is gonna be destroyed when I rip this wrap off and I'm gonna have to repaint it but I'll show you just a little bit of what I mean on the trunk because that's pretty much the only noticeable part because that portion wasn't wrapped but when wrapping that piece obviously it was over it and the adhesive of the wrap ripped it off you can see all that is just being ripped apart and I'm really scared to take it off because obviously it's already peeling off but with over time it's gonna rip off even more and the front bumper a whole portion ripped off and we'll show you that right now which is gonna be this part right here you can see that it has like a lot of tension right here that's just because the, the paint ripped off and it's sticking to the wrap but everything else is holding it on so you can barely tell and obviously my scrape life because I'm so low but those are the major imperfections on the car and then obviously on the fender it's gonna be rubbing so it's gonna be removing the wrap on this side it's a lot worse I'm not going to cut it I'm just gonna let it eat it away but yeah we're showing you guys this for one simple reason I'm showing you guys all the imperfections of my car to show you guys that no it's not perfect no car is gonna be perfect you can go to any car on the street that's that's been wrapped even from premium no shade to them but just saying that each car has imperfections whether it's from you know fuck ups on the road whether you're driving and bugs hit it and scrape the paint or the wrap there's always going to be imperfections on a car and mine does have imperfections obviously from our skills so this is our first time so me and Bruce had to learn going forward and we did spend a lot of money well I spent a lot of money shout out to Bruce for helping me though for free you're a good guy I love you the original pricing and size I got was 5 by 55 feet Avery Supreme gloss black and it was about 418 and then I had to buy two more orders of wrap one was about 20 feet and then one was 12. So I ended up spending like 750 overall. And then obviously I had to pay Paul for the rear bumper. So all in all, I would say I'm about $900 in average. So that's how much it took to wrap my car for the first time. This is a message to show you guys that you guys should try to do things on your own even if it looks hard because I've learned every step of the way on this build and that's why I like it so much over my G is that I started from when it was literally not running to where it is now and I could say that I pretty much did 99% of everything on this car except for obviously the transmission which I helped my master tech do and the rear bumper which Paul did so obviously give credit where it's due but I did a lot on this car so I'm really proud of myself to build this car where it's become so far where it's become, where it's become, how it's become, or how you know it turned turned out at the end, and there's still a lot more to do. I'm really proud of how my car turned out at the end, and there's obviously still another chapter ahead because I have a lot to do to this thing. If you guys are OG fans, you guys know what spot this is. This is the first spot we've ever done a video on. Really crappy videos from my iPhone, I think six. So yeah, check them out. They'll be up there. And we wanted to come here to pretty much just show, you know, how far we've become. No, you weren't even in the videos back then, dude. Nah, I was God, you replaced Martin, bro. Watcher. Where's Martin? I was only a watcher. Where's Martin? I miss him. Obviously, I am a perfectionist, so I had my car really, really clean. And now that there are some imperfections in the wrap and everything else, it did bum me out a little bit, and I was losing hope in the wrap and. I honestly didn't even want to wrap it anymore halfway through but you know after looking at it and just enjoying it for what it is I'm really happy and it looks really fucking good because black is my favorite color wait black is the absence of all colors so this is technically not a color all right mr. smartass think save, about it save it for another video. Tyler is going to be dropping a video on the same day as us. If you guys don't know who Tyler is, T-Y-T-T-N, it's gonna be down here. And his 
collab vlog is gonna be up there because he's gonna be releasing it an hour before we release this video and that's the video that we did where we collabed with him so when he's showing us wrapping the car that night it's gonna be black and white <laughs> black and white and <laughs> he tried his best to try to not make it as black you know as the car is so he had to mess with the grayscale but you know look at his video and people who probably already watched that are coming to this channel to watch this video so what's up guys if you guys are new to the channel look around like all the videos well, dislike them if you guys want I subscribe mean, that's not very nice report but... us I don't know. I mean should we just quit dude? <laughs> should we just quit <laughs> We just quit dude. Our buddy Tyler is going to be dropping a video on the same day as us. He's going to be dropping it at 2 p.m. This is coming out at 3, so make sure to check out his video. It'll be right here in the suggested because that's the video where he did a collab with us. He's doing it a little later, obviously, because he was traveling all of California. He had to go back home and edit all of his videos. So make sure to check that out. Tyler, we miss you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my rap. If you guys don't, comment down below and see how much of a piece of shit my car is. <laughs> but on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.